You know, unfortunately, standard checkpoint inhibitors um, have not been helpful in the 97% of patients who have proficient DNA mismatch repair. And there are a lot of different ways that we're trying to kind of, you know, to, to overcome whatever these immunosuppressive pathways are. Probably you need something, um, but that, clearly that's not enough in this large group of patients. And there's several different ways that we're looking at this. One has been tumor vaccines. Um, tumor vaccines have been looked at for many decades. But but really because of the revolution in um, sequencing and also computing power that allows the prediction of immunogenic antigens that might be that might be expressed that we really are really revisiting tumor vaccines um, there's several there's one um, against um, KRAS um, um, G12R and D which is the um, ELI of 001 which will be presented here by Alina O'Reilly um, seems to at least have immune responses um, in that group of patients. Um, I'm involved with a trial that's called um, Granite from a company called Gritstone, which is a personalized vaccine. And there is a large, this is a large randomized phase two um, that's looking at um, um, patients are randomized in the uh, maintenance setting. So most people who have first-line metastatic colorectal cancer get an oxaliplatin-based therapy, um, but they can only be on so long because of neuropathy. So they then go to maintenance, which is usually capecitabine, in this case, plus bevacizumab. And then patients are randomized to capecitabine, bevacizumab, plus um, or minus um, this vaccine. The vaccine is actually interesting, um, taking advantage of a prime boost strategy of a chimp adenovirus, sort of like the the, um, the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine together with the self-replicating um, mRNA. The, um, and also the thing that's interesting about this is that um, there's local injection of a CTLA-4 to try to really prime the lymph nodes. Um, they've seen some, at least ctDNA changes, which is something that you would hope to see. And that's the endpoint for this phase two. So stay tuned, we're very interested in this. CAR-Ts, um, which are um, basically engineered T cells that have an artificial chimeric antigen receptor on them to a target, um, usually a tumor associated antigen, together with an activated T cell, have revolutionized how we treat hematologic malignancies. And in fact, there are at least five CAR Ts that are approved. Um, they're very active and they cure patients who have incurable disease. Unfortunately, in solid tumors, we have not really seen a lot of activity. The um, so the problems are dual. One is lack of efficacy and where there hasn't been necessarily persistence of the CAR Ts um, and not enough efficacy. But even more important has been um, a problem that bedevils um, immunotherapy, which is on target off tumor toxicity. And CAR Ts against um, CEA and mesothelin have shown significant toxicity. Now, one that I'm, I'm collaborating with, with a company called A2, um, has been looking at, at the idea of a logic-gated CAR-T. So the, what you're really looking for is something that, as we always are in oncology, that um, differs between normal and tumor cells. This is a little bit different is that we're looking for something that's present in the tumor cell and abs, I'm sorry, present in normal cells and absent in tumor cells. So what we're looking at specifically is HLA. There's loss of HLA in about 20% of, um, of GI cancers when we've presented this um, before and published this. We published this data um, showing that, there's, that you can distinguish and we have an assay, which is called XT um, Onco with Tempest, that, that reliably um, distinguishes those patients who have loss of heterozygosity. And we have an ongoing trial, which I'm running, called Basecamp, um, in order for, to accrue those patients. We're really excited because the first treatment trial, which is against um, CEA, called Everest One, um, dosed their first patient um, within the last month. There was just a press release. Um, there was no untoward toxicity, which is one of the things we're, we're looking at. And and we're very excited about this. This is also a modular platform, so you can change what the HLA is, and you can also change what the target is. The next one is mesothelin, uh, which is expressed in a number of different cancers, which include um, not, uh, not just pancreatic car carcinoma, which we're interested in, but also ovarian and non-small cell lung cancer. So hopefully this will overcome this problem of on-target, tar of on-target off-tumor toxicity.